In this video, I want to quickly show you how to use the editing features in StackBit Studio. So I've used the StackBit Site Builder to create a new site using the Azimuth theme, and I'm ready to start editing in Studio at this point. As you can see in the upper right hand corner here, I am in edit mode. That means when I click items on the page, I can actually just begin editing them. I'm going to create a site about my favorite Teen Titan. Her name is Raven. So let's click into this headline and I'm going to go ahead and change the headline to say that Raven is the best Teen Titan. Now, I also want to edit this text here. This is a little bit different because this is markdown text. That gives me some formatting op options here. As you can see in the WYSIWYG editor, I could just paste that in and go ahead and just add some formatting and save that. And you'll see that that changes right away on my site. Now it's important to emphasize here that this is a preview of the site. I have not actually published these changes. So I'll be able to share the previews of these changes with my colleagues, or I can choose to publish them at any time. I will cover that in additional videos, but for right now, let's continue editing the site so it's ready to get published. So in this case, I want to update this image. So if I click that image, I can either use an existing or upload. I'm going to choose to upload a new one. I've got my image of Raven right here. And if I just give it a moment, it's going to upload that image and replace it on the page. So this is looking great. My site is almost ready to, to publish. But you know, Raven's favorite color is not blue. Raven's favorite color is purple. So let's go ahead and change the color scheme here of this page. I'm going to go to the site config, go to the color palette. Oh, and luckily there is a purple there. That looks great. I think I'm ready to publish my homepage. There's just a few more changes I need to make, adding in and ordering items, and then I'll share it with my colleagues. And finally, I'll publish it. And I'll cover how to do each of those things in upcoming videos.